One afternoon, on what could have been considered one of the most ordinary days for Gary Williams and his wife Angela, a stroll along their favorite beach in Lancashire, England, would prove to be the start of something extraordinary. There was absolutely nothing out of the ordinary that day. There were hikers and dog walkers and sunbathers too because the weather was so good. But as the couple made their way across the beach, they spotted something strange and it would turn out to be something incredibly valuable. On that same day though, Angela and Gary noticed something was off particularly because the air was heavy with a terrible smell. It smelled like a barrel of rotting fish was left out to dry under the sun. Still, it wasn't enough to put the couple off from exploring. Instead, both decided to figure out where this unusual smell was coming from. As the couple followed the unpleasant smell to find its source, they discovered a huge lump of stone, no larger than a football. It has a waxy texture and weirdly slimy tinge of yellow. This was very likely it, the source of that insane stench. They inched closer to investigate further. Gary and Angela had read about similar finds in the news and thought that they may have stumbled across a rare marine substance called ambergris. From time to time, lumps of ambergris or whale vomit, as it sometimes is called, gets washed ashore to be found by beach combers, and the couple covered their find in a scarf before taking it with them. Then once the parrot got the suspected ambergris back to their house, Gary used his fisherman's scales to weigh the lump. It was almost 3.5 pounds, and this made Gary and Angela even more excited about their find. Why? Because they knew that a man had found a chunk of ambergris on the coast of Morecambe, not far from where they were. That lump had come in at around twice the size of the one that Angela and Gary had unearthed. Even better, it had been valued at a hefty $155,000, which would mean that what the Williams owned piece of ambergris would fetch a staggering $65,000. If that seems like a lot of money for what seems like vomit, it actually is. But it doesn't change the value of their find. Gary describes this lucrative discovery, saying it smells too bad though, it's a very distinctive smell like a cross between squid and farmyard manure. It feels like a rock-hard rubber ball. Its texture is like wax, like a candle. When you touch it, you get wax sticking to your fingers. Sounds pretty gross to us. But what exactly is ambergris? Well, its alternative name, whale vomit, isn't strictly accurate, but it does hint at its provenance. The substance is created by whales, but it isn't actually vomited by the largest mammals. It's something else altogether. It is produced by only one species on the planet, which is why people consider it so rare. That's the sperm whale, a magnificent beast that's found in oceans and seas around the world, including Britain's coastal waters. Members of the species can grow to a staggering 67 foot long and tip the scales up to 63 tons, which is obviously pretty massive. At one time, these whales were commonly hunted for their blubber, which was used to make everything from candles and soap to machine oil and pencils. Ambergris was also harvested. Shockingly, as many as 1 million whales were slaughtered as a consequence during the 19th and 20th centuries. But there is some good news now. The sperm whale population has been slowly recovering since hunting was outlawed in the 1980s. Harvesting blubber was the main motive for hunting sperm whales. Evergris was also highly prized. It's been used in perfume, for instance. The ancient Egyptians used it as a kind of incense, while Europeans in the Middle Ages believed it had medicinal properties. You may be wondering, though, how such a horribly smelly lump is used in the production of perfume. Well, only freshly created ambergris has this unpleasant odor. It's a lot nicer to sniff it as it gets older. That still leaves one question unanswered, though. Namely, what makes the sperm whale create such a strange substance? Well, scientists believe that it's connected to the vast mammal's feeding habits. Sperm whales love to eat giant squids, and they have hard beaks that cannot be digested. So, the whale vomits most of the beaks out, although not all of them. Those beaks that travel into a whale's digestive system are then covered in ambergris as protection for the animal's intestines and stomach. That ambergris is actually formed from a liquid that comes out of the bile duct in the whale's innards. And we don't recommend reading this next bit while you're eating. Sometimes, you see, ambergris will be discharged by the whale alongside its feces. Yes, pretty disgusting. Occasionally, though, it exits via the mouth, hence the idea of whale vomit. Interestingly, ambergris is only created very slowly, over periods of years. Apparently, not all sperm whales produce the stuff, either maybe only 1%. 
but if you still want to try your luck, head to the Atlantic Ocean. That's where you're likely to find ambergris, although most commercial gathering of the substance happens in the Caribbean. So, use your own grey matter and keep an eye out for ambergris when you're next on the beach. There is a reason why it's sometimes referred to as floating gold. Remember, though, that the most lumpy things found in nature that smell nasty are likely to be exactly what you think. So, be careful. Not everything or everybody can be as lucky as Gary and Angela. If it's worth a lot of money, it will go a long way towards buying us a static caravan. It will be a dream come true.